Virginia Henderson Needs Jury Have you ever wondered how nurses provide the needs of the patient based on their situations? Today in the history, we gonna dig deeper about Virginia Henderson who established the needs jury. This helped the nurses to provide the needs of patient and to assist them until the patient recover and gain independence once again. So before we dig deeper about our topic, let me introduce to you who is Virginia Henderson. So she was born in Kansas City in Missouri. She enrolled in nursing school at Walter Reed Hospital in Washington. She also took a temporary job caring for World War I wounded and published the basic principle of nursing. Virginia Henderson's concept of nursing revolves around the idea of doing things for the patient or assisting individuals in carrying out activities that promote their well-being, aid in recovery, or provide comfort during the end of their lives, or giving them a peaceful death. Henderson's concept underscores the role of nurses in supporting patients in achieving optimal health outcomes. This support includes not only addressing physical needs, but also considering psychological, emotional, and spiritual aspects of care. Nurses, ensuring that the patient can regain independence and participate in their own care to the fullest extent as possible. The core focus of nursing, as Henderson said, is doing things for the patient and enabling them to achieve independency and the highest level of well-being they can attain. And this is the concept of nursing for Virginia Henderson's. The three levels of nurse-patient relationship. The first one is the substitute doing for the person. The nurse-patient relationship enables nurses to spend more time to connect, to interact with their patients as well as to understand their patients' needs. It assists nurses to establish a unique perspective regarding the meaning of the patient's illness, beliefs, and preferences of patients or families. The second one is supplementary, helping the person. Supplementary and therapeutic nurse-patient relationship is defined as a helping relationship that's based on mutual trust and respect, the nurturing of faith and hope, being sensitive to self and others, and assisting with the gratification of your patient's physical, emotional, and spiritual needs through your knowledge and skill. This caring relationship develops when you and your patient come together in the moment which results in harmony and healing. The last one is complementary, working with the person. The primary role of a nurse is to be a caregiver for patients by managing physical needs, preventing illness, and treating health conditions. This can include ensuring that the patient understands and is prepared for their treatment, listening to patients, and assessing their physical, emotional, cultural, mental, and spiritual needs. Now, let's discuss the 14 components of the knee jury. The 14 components of Virginia Henderson's need jury show a holistic nursing approach covering by physiological, psychological, spiritual, and social needs. We have 9 components under physiological need jury. First, breathe normally. Eat and drink adequately. Eliminate body waste. Move and maintain desirable posture. Sleep and rest. Select suitable clothes, dress, and undress. Maintain body temperature within normal range by adjusting clothing and modifying environment. Keep the body clean, well-groomed, and protect the integument. Last, avoid dangers in the environment and avoid injuring others. Now we move on to psychological aspect that has two components. First, communicate with others and expressing emotions, needs, fears, or opinions. Learn, discover, or satisfy the curiosity that leads to normal development, health, and use the available health facilities. Now let's discuss the spiritual and moral, which discuss the worship according to one's faith. Now we will proceed to social needs. First, work in a such way that there is a sense of accomplishment. Play or participate in a various form of recreation. Now, let's move on to Henderson's meta paradigm when it's come to person. According to her, person is a holistic being that composed of physical, psychological, sociological, and spiritual dimension. Meaning, 
if the person or individual need help in achieving the subcategories of supporting basic human needs, the nurses must assist them in order to gain their independence once again. Next, let's move on to Henderson's meta paradigm when it's come to health. According to her, health is viewed based on individual's ability to function independently. Given by its definition, when an individual has capabilities to achieve the 14 basic human needs independently, meaning she or he can be considered as healthy. However, when an individual is incapable of achieving 14 basic human needs independently, then this individual needs to assist until become healthy once again. Now, let's move on to Henderson's meta paradigm when it's come to environment. According to her, environment is a condition under which the patient can perform the 14 activities independently. Meaning, when patient's environment is able to provide space for these 14 activities to perform, then his or her environment is good for her. Are we clear? Then, if we are clear on this part, now let's move on to Henderson's meta paradigm when it comes to nursing. According to Virginia Henderson's, nursing provides support and assists patients needs to make them complete and whole. In other words, the nurses fulfill the needs of the patient until the patient can perform it on their own. By doing this, the patient will be independently as a whole once again. Also, according to Henderson, nursing is temporarily assist the patient while gaining its independency to care for themselves. Let's move to Nietzsche assumption of Henderson. Nurses care for the patient until the patient can care for themselves again. This includes the patient's desire to return to health. For many clients, especially the ones in the hospital, their goal is to recover and to return to their normal life. Henderson emphasized the importance of helping the patients gain more independence so that the recovery after hospitalization would not be delayed. Focuses on the individual care with the nurse assisting the patient with essential activities to contribute to patient's fast recovery. The next jury is nurses are willing to serve and devote themselves day and night. Nurses are the backbone of patient care. Although they may not diagnose, prescribe treatment, they do have the independent judgment. They have their creativity in the individualized care planning that the patient deserves the best possible care they can have. She also mentioned nurses should be educated at university level in both art and science.